Hello, welcome back. Let's fly Kerbal Space Program. I am absolutely determined to get this thing into orbit. Uh, let me see here. Prospector 2. Let me see. I've done some practicing. I've done some, uh, some practicing when I was not recording. Uh, went, went through and launched this thing and, and fly it and launched it. And, you know, just, just to kind of, kind of re... Oh, Prospector 2 is already on the wind. That's right. I had this all set and ready to go. Um, just to kind of reassure myself that that I do actually know what I'm doing. It is possible to get this thing into orbit. I've got this thing in theory this should be all set. Let me see. Update or space dock, inventory. Yeah, we've got all the stuff that we need in order to get a um yeah, in, in, in order to to launch the prospector off in this vehicle. And look at our crew this time around. Orville Kerman Manfred von Kerbel, Haro Hermani. Okay, I still don't know who Haro is, but Orville and Manfred von Kerbel. Uh, we got we got some serious aviators here. Okay, Th this is n no green flight crew. So, and and I and I brought I brought the joystick back. I don't even know why I was I was trying to do that with the with the joystick earlier. That was kind of a dumb move. All uh, right, but it's going to happen. It's going to happen this time. We're, we're going to see an orbit. Let's zoom in here. Let's make certain that it's gimbling correctly. Yes, that is gimbling correctly. About that much. That's good. Set the camera right about here so I can keep an eye on the angle that way. This is set. Let's get the map set here for when we want to go that way. Okay, Orville Kerman, Manfred von Kerbel, Aro Hermani Kerman. You are brave pioneers. Just put those other crews out of your mind, okay? Just put them out of your mind, and this is going to be a good launch. Here we go. Just main ignition. There's the solids. Ooh, nice straight takeoff. Looks like I estimated the gimbal fairly nicely. That was good. Gimbal engine's a little bit more. I wish there was something, uh, you know, like an indicator actually on the screen so you could see exactly what I'm doing with gimbling the engines on that thing. Cause this, that really is the tricky part of this vehicle. But, I don't know. It's, it's really just making small, like, fractions of a degree of changes. Okay, okay, let me see. Solids are almost done. Okay, good smooth decouple. I like that. Let's tilt back just a hair. Not actually doing a gravity turn yet. Just want to kind of straighten this thing out. There we go. I was watching a. I was watching one of the one of the videos. What um, Navy Rain, Damian Rain, did this thing. It's trying to educate like the. Hang on. Gimbal to catch that. Okay, good. Yeah. Yeah, he was trying to trying to educate on the like the smooth and efficient way to get into orbit. I think I've been doing my gravity turn too late. Uh, I took I took advice too much to heart that I've I've had other people recommend not to do the gravity turn too early. But I've been waiting too late because he he even started his like right around ten kilometers. Okay, let's go right about here. That'll work. Correct the gimbal a little bit more. There we go. So right now it's working. We've got all the mains running. We've got that central liquid engine booster. And I'm watching the apoapsis here, 27 kilometers and climbing. So that's good. And you have to, whenever you're flying this vehicle, you have to anticipate whenever you get rid of a booster. You ha you're going to have to adjust gimbal. You have to, like, gimbal it preemptively. There we go. Like that. Okay, just lost a lot of mass, but also lost a lot of thrust. Amplaps is up there at 34 kilometers. And we're flattening it out a little bit. I think we're flattening it out a little bit too early. Let's point up a little bit more here, guys. Like right about there. Yeah, this will work. 
And now I'm just watching. I'm watching this number here, the apoapsis and the timed apoapsis. And in this, we've okay. Now that we've burned through those boosters, uh, this is the kind of the really the the more boring, slightly uneventful part of the whole launch. Just kind of holding it steady for a little while. I'm watching that periapsis. I'm, I may actually get rid of this external fuel tank uh, with a little bit of fuel left in it. I'm gonna whenever this this periapsis number it's negative, meaning that we haven't don't actually have any kind of an orbit yet. Once it actually comes around a positive number, I'm I'm going to get rid of that external fuel tank because I do not want to have that huge chunk of debris in orbit. Okay. We roll wings level here, guys. Well, inverted, but level. There we go. Okay, apoapsis up there. 70 kilometers. That's very good. I like that. So let's go just try and go straight horizontal now. Here we go. Yeah, this is working. All three of my Kerbals. See, I thought Orville and Manfred von Kerbal. Orville Kerman, Manfred von Kerbal. I thought that those two would be, you know, like salty dogs here. They'd, they'd be... You know, come on, guys. This is a smooth launch. You shouldn't be freaking out about this one. Here we go. Adjust a little bit like that. Okay, so that periapsis is coming very close to the point where I want to get rid of this external tank very soon. Apoapsis is coming up here at 100. Yeah, let's get rid of that thing. You can hear in, in some of the, the early testing on, on, this, on this vehicle, you straighten this thing out. Italy, that uh, had problems that enormous external fuel tank was was crashing into the vehicle after I jettisoned it. So I, I put these two tiny little solid rocket boosters on the side. It just pushes the, the pushes the external fuel tank sideways just to give it to be certain that it, it clears the Valkyrie vehicle without breaking anything. Okay. Yeah, it's pretty very smooth. Okay, so even if I screw up the orbit from this point, at least I finally, finally have got to demonstrate to everybody watching that, uh, that this thing can launch into an orbit <laughs> without everything going wrong. Very, very smooth orbit. No surprises. I was very happy with that one. All right, let's point it right about the center of the thing, right about there. Wait for that to settle down. Okay, and now this is kind of a guessing game. Give it a little bit of thrust, and I'm watching that pitch gauge to to judge where do I need to gimbal the engines now that we've got rid of all that mass, the external fuel tank. Good. Yeah, that'll work. Except our boosting my apoapsis up there higher than I want. I'll go ahead and I'll wait a few minutes till I get up there. I suppose we could, could go for a 120 kilometer orbit, that'd be okay. Okay, oh yeah, and here's the, there we are. I guess we're, this time we're, we're chasing the Valkyrie prototype around. Okay, apoapsis up here. Uh, let's kill the SAS. Let's do some time compression. Let's get up there to the apoapsis. Point this thing in the right direction here. Come on. It's so massive that even with the, all the RCS on here, it's real sluggish to control, luggish, sluggish to change attitude. There we go, right about there. Okay, let's boost that periapsis up there. Take that thing up there to 120-ish.
Yeah, okay, okay. Uh, okay, and we'll just do a little bit more fine-tuning, just get it into a more circular orbit. Yep, okay. Just uh, sweat like a little over a kilometer dif difference between the high and low points. Okay, I call that circular enough. Okay, all three of my guys are still just freaking right out. Maybe, guys, you're okay. This is, it was a it was a smooth launch. Everything worked the way it was supposed to. What you're all upset about? Okay, next step. Uh, this mod that we've got using the orbital construction mod to make this launch possible of the, of the prospector, it tends to freak out if you if you try to uh, move stuff straight through planets. And I'm gonna fast forward the time until we get until we get my Valkyrie vehicle to say just directly over Kerbal Space Center. It doesn't have to be directly over, it just has to be above the horizon of Kerbal Space Center. So you're not trying to 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 move the vehicle through the planet. Okay, right about there. That'll work. All right, let's go to Space Center. Okay, load Prospector 2. Also off screen, I did a, a little bit of tweaking, just kind of straighten out some of these parts. I decided to also to put the RCS tanks up on top and kind of elevate. It just a little, It's still the same vehicle, just tweaked it a little bit. All right, let's launch this thing. Miguel Kerbio. Okay, it's got that space built part on it. Now let's like dock. Check out this. Bam! It's like magic or something, isn't it? Give it a few seconds to load and get it, get everything in, in where it needs to be. Dismiss that window. Ain't that just the coolest thing ever? So, okay. Yeah, maybe it would have been more satisfying to actually be able to see the see the prospector docked as part of the Valkyrie vehicle and, and see the full fairing come off and open up like that. Eventually, I do hope the game advances to the point where, where I can do that with, without everything breaking all the damn time. But yeah, this orbital construction mod is a really fantastic workaround. Uh, yeah, so, so we don't... Okay, Miguel! He's very mellow. He's, he's not freaking out like the other three were. Miguel, you are going to go to the moon. You are going to drive this buggy around on the surface of the moon, and you are going to find... A, oh, now he's freaking out. I was trying to give a motivational speech here. <laughs> Miguel, come on, man. You're going you're, you're gonna, to you're gonna find a scout out a good place to set up our, our, our moon base to do further research on, on the monoliths. So, yeah, you, you are a pioneer of your kind, man. Okay, so where is that moon anyways? Ah, oh, I was so happy this whole th whole procedure finally worked. Oh, wow, maybe I, if I hadn't been chattering, I, maybe you should have burned right then. All right, we'll just we'll catch it in the next time around. I'm so pleased. The whole thing, it finally worked. It worked all smoothly, you know? <laughs> yeah, there it is. There's the prospector.